Hey Swayers, it's Karnak. You're going to enjoy this video today. I have foreseen it. We're going to be looking at the Commander uh, Emperor Palpatine card today. So the Commander Emperor Palpatine, uh, I've been, we've been hearing rumors about him for so long about, I mean, uh, he's been spoiled for a long time, but before that, the SSD and, and all that, we just, you know, we knew it was coming, we just didn't have any information about him, and so I'm happy to talk about him today. I think he's a, a very unique commander for the Empire, so let's dive right in. So uh, Emperor Palpatine is faction specific for the Empire only, which you can see there next to his point cost, which is a whopping 35 points. Super expensive guy, not as expensive as Tarkin, and a little bit more expensive than Thrawn. Um, in terms of you know what kind of use and capabilities he's ha he has, well, we're going to dive into that. First thing I want to point out, though, is you'll see in front of his name a little dot or bullet point signifies that he is unique. He can only bring one Emperor Palpatine to your fleet. He does have an officer card. So meaning if you want to bring the commander, you can't bring the officer. If you bring the officer, you cannot bring the commander. Okay. So Emperor Palpatine, a lot of text here and a lot to kind of break down. So after deploying fleets, place one defense token of each type on this card. At the start, of each ship phase, you may discard one of these tokens. If you do, until the end of the round, if an enemy ship or squadron spends a matching token during its spend defense token step, discard that token. So in a nutshell, he's like Intel Officer for all of your ships without having to bring Intel Officer. Except the, the thing is, you can only do it once per token. So you really need to be able to predict and see into the future about when you should be spending these defense tokens and there's quite a few timing things here that i want to make sure i'm breaking down so for emperor palpatine the first thing i want to point out is the after deploying fleets bit so for emperor palpatine his trigger effect isn't until after all the fleet sh uh, ships have been deployed that's when he triggers meaning if you've stuffed him in a ship that's like in hyperspace uh, that's set aside or otherwise in any ship that is set aside uh, you played yourself you spent 35 points on nothing don't do this because if he's set aside and he's not on the table in the after deploying fleets portion he doesn't trigger and you don't get to use his ability at all so don't put him in hyperspace don't set his ship aside etc okay but then after deploying fleets is his trigger you then take out each defense token that is available. You set it, uh, it says on his card, but there's no way all those tokens are going to stay and fit on his card. So it's okay if you put them on the side. Although there might be some rules lawyer out there. It's like, oh, it's not on the card. It's not legal. <laughs> Tell that person to, to kindly step off. All right, so that's that section. So when's his trigger? When do you get to trigger him to declare the use? What's at the start of each ship phase? you can discard one of those tokens. So remember, there's four phases in a round of Armada. Man phase, ship phase, uh, squadron phase, and status phase. And, you know, there's multitudes of, like, in-between things going on there. But pretty much after you set command dials in the command phase, start of the ship phase, uh, you know, first player resolves all his ship phase things first, then the second player. So, again, make sure you're declaring this usage after evaluating potentially what your opponent may do if you're a second player. But at the start of the ship phase, you say, um, I'm going to choose this defensive token. I'm going to, what does it say here? You discard it, so you discard it, and then if any ship or squadron that is not friendly to you, any enemy ship or squadron, if it spends a defense token and it spend defense token step, it gets discarded. So the time and again, ship phase, you declare... You discard that token, and if you do, until the end of round, um, this is what is going to happen. So, for Palpatine, there's a couple other little things I want to make sure I'm pointing out. So, remember, the tokens are only discarded when the ship is defending or the squadron's defending. If a ship is attacking, uh, like, for example, you know, turbo laser reroute circuits for CR-90As, um, if they use that 
TRC to use an evade to turn a, you know, a, a, to modify one of their die, he doesn't trigger there. It's not any time a token is spent. It specifically states only when defending. Otherwise, this would be a huge nerf to, like, Vader. Essentially, he would be a hard counter to Vader. He would be a hard counter to, um... To, to some other token aspects when attacking. So remember, no tokens are discarded when a ship is attacking another ship, if he's not your friend. Uh, it's only in the defense step. So let's talk about it. Uh, let's explain how this works. So we're going to say, hey, at the start of the ship phase, you know, the, uh, the Star Destroyer has both of these ships in range, and he's got to decide, well, which one do I want to most benefit for... for the tokens. So you might say, you know what, Emperor Palpatine, I'm going to spend and discard this uh, redirect token. And then when you go to roll your attack dice on that MC-80, you know, you roll, we'll say it's uh, just four red dice. Hey, that's a great roll. So you say, hey, you know what, I'm going to lock your brace, and there's four damage coming at you. So if this MC-80, for example, didn't bring um, electronic countermeasures, you know, his brace is locked, he can't reduce that damage. It's either he loses all of his shields off the front of his ship, not a good idea, or instead of just normally spending a redirect token, uh, if he chooses the, to use a redirect, it's, it's gone. It's, you, you, it's not just spent, it's discarded. It's just boom, one and done. Uh, then you can still, you know, shuttle those shields around however you uh, desire so you can move all four over there but again tokens completely gone um, and again that's if you had declared the redirect token at the start of the ship phase go ahead and back up put all those back where they were okay um, does this work for squadrons absolutely so this does help in your squadron on squadron action so if you're facing as an imperial another imperial uh, you know, maybe they have a lot of scatter aces, so maybe you want to chuck aside that scatter, so when you target that scatter, like this uh, Merrick Steel hitting the smaller mythal, two blue, two black, and wow, that's a ton of damage, and, you know, Mauler Mythal, typically, just, you scatter that, no problemo, but in this case, if Mauler Mythal, you know, when he scatters, again, his defense token, boom, gone, just one use only. And then all he has left is his three health and his brace defense token. Which, let me tell you, that TIE Fighter is not long for this world with no scatter. Uh, uh, same deal if, if you can predict if you're going to be fighting like a bunch of, as an Imperial, like maybe a bunch of rebels. Um, maybe you want your guys to have a little bit of a leg up in that exchange. So you say, you know what, going to get rid of the brace token. That way when your squadrons are engage, engaging these brace you know, Rebels are super brace heavy for their squadrons, you can start throwing those off of there. So instead of it taking, you know, typically with the braces, most fighters can usually survive three to four shots. Uh, maybe this will take this down to where you only need to do two to three shots. Because again, if they spend a brace, we'll say in this example again, Merrick Steel is shooting uh, Wedge and Tillies. Throw the two and the two. Which, hey, that's still a lot of damage, so, you know, he doesn't want to take that. He discards a brace, knocks him down to three health, and then say, you, you know, he's able to attack again uh, with another ability. And we'll say that instead of uh, he rolled the three and a crit, maybe this was an accuracy. And uh, now you can lock that remaining brace token, and boom, you killed him with that three damage. So it took two activations rather than the usual three four activations that sometimes it can take to to pump through those double brace aces for the rebellion now i do want to point out one specific interaction uh with rebel squadrons and that's with jan or so remember at the bottom of the emperor palpatine's card it says if an enemy ship or squadron spends a matching token during its spend defense token step discard that token so in that same example if wedge uh, was shooting, let me get that roll back, what did I have here? There we go, turn that to an accuracy, boom. So in this example, we'll say that Merrick Steel, again, is shooting at Wedge Antilles. Oh no, his defense token's locked, there's three damage coming. Wedge Antilles is going to die. Now, Wedge Antilles, remember Jan Orr's, it says, while a friendly squadron at distance one to two is defending, it can spend your defense tokens. 
And some people are wondering, does Palpatine affect Jan Ors when she spends her brace to help out someone else? And the answer to that is yes. Palpatine still affects Jan Ors' defense tokens. Why is that? Because again, when it says it's spend defense token stuff, well, it's Wedge Antilles who's defending, not Jan Ors. But again, with the wording that's in Jan Ors' cars, it's saying that squadron, it can spend your token. Therefore, the it, which is Wedge Antilles, is still spending a defense token. He's just spending it off off of Jan's. So even though Jan is not being attacked, the it, the, the target of the squadron, is still spending a defense token. Um, so it would still get discarded. So, but, you know, that's a small price to pay to, you know, discard one of Jan's braces and then prevent Wedge from being taken out. You know, he would drop to one health that way. So that's kind of, you know... It kind of really punishes Rebels, but at the same time, that's only a one-time deal. And again, you declare at the start of the ship phase. So if, as an Imperial, if you declare the use of that token, like, you're committed. Like, you are revealing, like, information to what your plans are for that round. It might be obvious. It may not change anything. But in terms of a Rebel, he might decide, you know what? He spent that Brace token. I'm going to hold my squadrons back um, and force you, if you want to come get me, to overextend um, I don't have to come out to fight you just because you spent that token and you say this is what your plans are um, so that's Emperor Palpatine uh, essentially if you spend the token he's discarded again it's only one per and once that token is off that's it that you only get the one shot with that so it does require a lot of prediction and foresight and trying to trick your opponent into these situations um you know obviously the two the two biggest tokens you're going to see spent a lot is the brace and redirect and again you have to make sure you're being perfect in that timing because again they still get to use that token and i'm going to give an example here from the one time i tried to play palpatine like i had a a ship i uh there's like two flotillas in front of me and I had a ship shoot the flotilla. I had said, uh, you know, you don't get if you scatter, you lose the scatter. So I shot the GR a, a flotilla, and it spent the scatter, and which is fine. But then the flotilla is still not dead. It can still spend the defense token. So that means that in the next round, I still have to shoot it again to then kill it. Um, so this is. I mean, that's good in a situation if you have a lot of ships that are throwing smaller dice pools and you're not guaranteed to get that accuracy, um, or you have multiple targets being able to peg. But essentially, if you can't capitalize with a bunch of shots on one target to force that ship to make a decision to discard, you're wasting his potential, especially on large ships where they have you know these redundant tokens. If you say, oh, I'm going to throw a bunch of squadrons at this MC-80, and I'm going to take off this uh, this redirect. They're like, that's fine because typically most large ships can take that wave of squadron attacks on their front. And then they just pop out a repair token, move shields, and put all the shields back on. They didn't need to spend a redirect for it. So it, it requires a lot of planning to make him work effectively. And some people, in order to make him even more effective is that they'll bring like uh, intel officers on their ship as well so that way they're targeting a different token that maybe uh, that Palpatine you know so for example with the redirect and the brace for example you'd say oh no redirect but then you have intel officer to still hit that brace uh, if they spend the brace then it's gone so you know mileage may vary he's really expensive I still haven't quite figured him out myself about where his uses lie obviously he's kind of multi-purpose and he can be good of ships he can be good of squadrons um but then at the same time it's kind of like why not salone who's cheaper and then you can decide which tokens get spent you know in the moment uh it's i so i really don't have like any strategies that i can really hand out with him i haven't really seen any combinations that quite yet utilize him to his full capability uh but that could change um you know, like with anything, Rebellion Rim's coming out, more ship expansions are coming out, we might be able to see him uh, in, in situations where he might be able to shine. Or maybe you've had some experiences where you've been able to use him successfully. I haven't. I've tried. I've been awful with him. And I've, I I uh, kind of have shied away from him because of that. 
But that's Emperor Palpatine. Of course, if I got anything wrong or if you think I missed anything, please be sure to point it out. Let me know. And I uh, will catch you guys next time. I appreciate you guys watching the videos. And I have plans to keep pumping out many more. See you later.